This question often arises in Indian spirituality is does God have a form or does he not have a form? There are those who vehemently oppose the very idea that the Supreme could have a form. And there are others who say absolutely not. How can God have a formless aspect? He is only personal. So Arjun has asked, which of these is better to worship? Verse 1 Evam satata yuktaye bhaktastvam paryupasate ye chapyaksharam avyaktam tesham ke yoga vittama Translation Arjun inquired between those who are steadfastly devoted to your personal form and those who worship the formless Brahman, who do you consider to be more perfect in yoga? If you have just glanced through the Bhagavad Gita, you may be aware that in the previous chapter, Lord Krishna revealed to Arjun his cosmic form. Innumerable hands, feet, heads. He saw himself and Krishna in that form. But it was so overbearing upon his mind that he got terrified. And he requested, please hide this and Reveal your two-armed form once again. So now when Krishna is before him in his two-armed form, the obvious question in Arjun's mind is, O Lord, which of these forms of yours is better to worship? Everybody wishes to do the better thing. Is worship of the formless better? Or the worship of the personal form better? And the question clarifies the doubt that God is both formless and having a personal form. This question often arises in Indian spirituality is does God have a form or does he not have a form? There are those who vehemently oppose the very idea that the Supreme could have a form. They say he is only formless. And there are others who say absolutely not. How can God have a formless aspect? He is only personal. Actually, both sides are limiting the Supreme. See, the atheistic world says this creation happened by itself. An involuntary Big Bang created the world. Like sometimes, you involuntarily release gas. So somehow the Big Bang happened and the world got created. But those who have a little bit of faith and a little bit of common sense, they say, come on, this is ridiculous. There has to be an intelligent design behind this amazing creation. And that supreme intelligence who planned and executed this creation of the world is God. So, He who has manifested such a vast creation, He must be all-powerful. What is the attribute of God? He is all-powerful. 
तो वेदा से दैट गॉड इज सत्य संकल्प वट एवर ही रिजोल्व कम्स टू पास संकल्पा देवास्य पितर समुदिष्ठी इफ ही रिजोल्व लेट मी हैव अ फॉर्म ही हैज अ फॉर्म इफ ही रिजोल्व आई विश टू बी फॉर्मलेस ही इज ऑल फॉर वीनिंग सो दिस कॉन्सेप्ट मस्ट बी एक्सेप्टेड विद अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट हाउ कैन आई लिमिट गॉड एंड से दैट ही डजेंट हैव अ फॉर्म we tiny souls have a form is god even less than me that he says you know i don't have the energy to take a form so i am only the formless light then how is he all powerful but the reason why people reject the idea of god with the form is because they dealt with forms in the world father mother sister brother husband wife and they found the worldly forms possessing defects possessing incompleteness so they say you know i got cheated by this form by that form if god has a form then he will also be a cheat so god must be beyond all of this however god does not have a material form he has a divine form likewise ved vyas says rajansi bhumer ganayet kathanchit kalena naiva khil shakti dhamna you may succeed in counting the specks of dust on the crust of the earth this impossible may become possible but counting the virtues of god is absolutely impossible so if we accept that personality of the supreme divine then we must also accept he is both formless and having a form the chandogya upanishad of the samved states dwe vav brahmano rupe murtan chaiva murtan cha murt personal amurt without a form so arjun has asked which of these is better to worship let's see what lord krishna says 